welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? Who was it that said manga artists are poor? So the internet recently found out that a manga artist put his house up for sale. And yes, that's a house, not an apartment. In Japan, owning a house might as well be equivalent to owning a Lambo. That's how big of a deal it is. Many pictures in the listing, which you can check out in the link below, were found to be identical to his previous studio pictures. The manga artist goes by the name of Makoto Raiku, who is famous for his work on Zatch Bell, and more recently, Vector Ball. From the look of the pictures, it seems like not only did he use the house as a residence, but also as a studio. There are many tables set up for his assistants, and it's quite clearly segmented to be an efficient office space. And needless to say, this is probably one of the more glorious manga studios to have graced the internet, as we're used to seeing manga artists being dirt poor living in a small apartment. So in a past study in 2009, the top 100 Japanese manga artists earned around 650,000 US dollars a year, but the average manga artists earn only about $35,000. And seeing how the average is $35,000, that means there are many artists that are earning significantly less than that. Without a work blowing up in popularity, it seems like getting a decent living will be quite hard. But Makoto Raiku here seems to be doing quite alright with his $2.2 million house. He doesn't have many works adapted into anime, and his work is shown only in Shonen Sunday. Shonen Sundays hosts mangas that are not as popular as the ones in Shonen Jump, but still has a steady audience. And to be honest, I haven't even heard of this manga artist until this came up. We don't know whether or not he's selling it to upgrade or to downsize his studio, but at least we know that some manga artists out there are living the good life without having a top tier world renowned series under their belt. So what do you think of this manga artist's house? Would you want to live in it? Let me know in the comments below. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook for Japanese culture tweets and updates, and for more on the latest things people are talking about in Japan, don't forget to check out our channel and please subscribe so you can get your daily fix of Japan right in your inbox. See you next time. No selfies, obviously, because you're not actually there. You can buy things, and the tour guide will actually mail you back the stuff you buy, and the whole experience will.